bugs is rosling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for just rocking with me. I know I've said that before, but I, I'm glad that you have been in my life to be blessed to be in yours. Being able to learn and educate each other, one another, like if I'm learning stuff off of you and you're learning stuff off of me, that's too easy blessing that we can all do this in this community so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable now please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empath to give how it impacts your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is a good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath they're going through some really trying times right now and trying to find their soul purpose or even their true path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um my meditation music i'm listening to is 10,000 hertz full uh full restore body mind and soul 740 41 hertz healing cells from toxins and 432 hertz from miracle rain music and i'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas it's almost graduation day get your cap and gowns ready yes it was just like i was thinking about my daughter because she's getting ready to graduate in a few days and I'm so proud of her, you know, being able to have this three girls that has gotten through school, you know, two of them are in college and the other one, she's getting ready to go to college this year. So it's like truly a blessing because I didn't, I dropped out of school. I, I just couldn't do it. It was like trying to help my mom while she was sick and uh, having a baby at 16, you know, I, I'm glad because, you know, I didn't get that chance to go back to school. And I'm glad that I was able to get my daughters through school because I didn't want them, you know, repeating the things that their mom did. So it, it's just like all, going through all these things is just a true blessing. Being able to embrace your gift, being able to learn all the things that you needed to learn, um, being a blessing towards others. You know, it, it's just like, like, like I tell you, it's a blessing to be able to do these videos, to be real, to be honest about things you know don't sugarcoat things because a lot of us you know we i mean you respect somebody more and being open enough to want to talk to them if you you know that nobody's not bsing you around or trying to throw some smoke screens in front of your face or all that whatever you know because it's not every day is not a positive day not every day is going to be a good day for you so it's just like you have to be able to give yourself that credit you know congratulate yourself when other people ain't congratulating you because it, it's hell going through the stuff we're going through and we're graduating heading towards that next level you have truly earned it you know there i know there's times when you you really don't feel like you have been doing it but like i say and i have to tell myself this you don't know what's happening behind closed doors you don't know what god and universe is trying to prepare for you because there's a lot of things you're cutting out your life a lot of things you're letting go of a lot of things that you're not allowing to trick you or trigger you like it was before that is truly a blessing you know it's just like universe will start you know when universe knows that they're on that way towards congratulating you as well as giving you that 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 diploma of empathy <laughs> to congratulate you they will put test in you just to really see is like okay are they going to do the thing that they've been teaching themselves not allowing things to trigger them and things come you know if their weaknesses are in front of them or are they going to fall for it like they did before or are they going to draw back and say no this is not for me you know we're going to have people come back into your life that has put a lot of pain and anguish in your life and it, it was a great part of your life whether it was good or bad for them to get you know if they're supposed to be there or have closure you know i'm, I'm about to deal with a lot of that stuff right now i gotta deal with you know my family you know, I don't even call them my family, but these people I've been attached to for a long time. And that had to be a lot to deal with. But I'm congratulating myself because I already know I'm about to pass that test. You know, it's like when you 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 will understand the focus 
and the mentality, the things, if you really uh, pause for the cause, y'all. My bad, y'all. But anyways, yeah, I got to deal with them. And it's just like, I have not seen those folks in over a year. And it's like, I already know, you know, I said, I don't know what my, my role leads, but I know that I have to be able to approach these people. And I know, and like I told y'all before, I know sooner or later I was going to end up having to, you know, talk to them or even face them. And it'll be all good because it's just like I can sit up here and say, when I see them, you no longer have that effect on me. You know, you, it took me a long time to feel, feel that <laughs> without having to say, you know, be that woman of rage ready to just tear up some stuff it's not even about that anymore this this mess is bigger than them and it's bigger than me so it's just like you know i have to keep going and do what i do because it's like when you have to be focused when you know you're really trying to get out of a dark place you have to be able to push that bs aside because it's like you know what if you want to continue being in a place you don't want to be things when they finally put stuff in your face and they you just like you know okay this person grew and they're you know you're no longer allowing these things to trigger you anymore and when they place stuff in front of you and you don't get triggered they know that you you know what i'm proud of them they they got it they finally figuring it out when you are able to do that with yourself and know you are grown and just healed in so many different ways. Because sometimes that anticipation can be nervous as I don't know what. And when it finally comes, it's just like, oh, hell. <laughs> you all right. You have to just think of them. You know, they should be more scared of you. The people that has placed things on you. And when they know they can't get that, that, that person is just mad or copping an attitude or whatever. And you're like, hey, how you doing? When you do that, they'll be more scared of you than you are of them. Because they don't know what to expect out. That mom, and they actually taught me that and it's just funny how everything they taught me knowing they were the one that would feed me that mess oh it's like when you allow somebody to know that lets them know that they done got up under your skin Rosalind you should let things go learn how to let stuff go and mainly they were the one who was sitting up here doing the stuff that they were telling me to watch out for now it's like when you don't react to people that know they have done everything in your power to break you and they know that you can't be moved like you that mountain that is just like oh you go ahead have a blessed one you know and just keep doing it they're gonna be more scared of you because they don't know what to expect after that <laughs> they are not gonna know what to expect after that so you get ready to walk up them stairs to get your diploma of your empathy because you are about to head to the next level and when you head towards that next level you don't know what kind of blessings gonna come to you you don't because you're not allowing, you're seeing things pass you by. But it's like, you know, yeah, it's nor, you know, it's unnerving because you don't know what to expect. That's a scary situation. But only if you know if you got faith in the universe and faith in God, you don't have to worry about nothing after that. Just keep your faith in them and knowing, yeah, everything is gonna happen the way it's supposed to happen. As long as you're not trying to control things and stand in the way of your blessings, you are all to the good. So allow yourself to do what you need to do to be able to walk across that stage and get your diploma and then switch that little tassel around like they do and be able to jump for joy and throw that cap in away. Because you know you don't went through hell and high water. You have evolved faster than you ever thought you were. The people that were sent to break you or you are now passing them. Allow them to keep doing the things that they're doing. Hopefully one day they'll learn. You know, shoot, they can probably learn off of you on the how, how they're sitting up here opposing, you know, how you hold yourself. So, congratulate yourself. You have really, really did the daggone thing. And know that you will pass whatever they try to place in your life. Because trust me, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. It's really coming. And you will be able to pass with flying colors. And you'll know when it's going to be that test. Because it, it, it's going to be one of them people that really pissed you off one day. And just to be able to say, oh, hey, how you doing? You know, and be all right about it. And just, you know, just act like you forgot about everything they did. And just go, you know, you, you forgot about it because you ain't trying to hold that in your brain. But you smart enough to know not to engage with them like that again. I had to do that with a lot of people lately. But, oh, you know, be cordial. But just not allow you to be in my life like that no more.
But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Drop me a line. I would love a chance to hear from you. Let me know if you feel like you're about to walk across that stage and snatch up that diploma. And, you know, congratulations to you. I'm going to say it again, but congratulations to you because you truly do deserve it. You have been through hell and high water. You probably got your own little passport, your frequent flyer miles, and all the souvenirs. So, congratulate yourself. And I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Ovid Allen, um, Yara Jen, and Bonnie Jo Smith, and Jab Toys. Much love to you, and I hope you have a blessed day, and I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all all the time, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And, you know... Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.